just wanted to make this video real quick about um whew, about uh oral care okay um i just pulled up to a job i'm about to go in but um i was just thinking about this and um just wanted to put this out there um I am just recently, maybe two months ago, I would say, learning that you can repair cavities naturally. I never knew that, and man, I really wish I would have known this as a child. Um, but you know what's done is done i got a you know i got a good amount of feelings in my mouth and um i'm actually thinking about going to the dentist and having them removed one by one and fixing them all naturally um it's something i'm thinking about but i want to talk to you about um not so much oral care you you know to brush your teeth um, you know, some people just brush their teeth once a day. Some people, well, some people don't even do that. You know, some people brush their teeth every whatever, several days or whatever. And some people brush their teeth after every meal. And then you have, you know, uh, different people doing different things in between that. Um, and flossing, you know, flossing is uh, like super important. Um, super important. You can brush your teeth and not floss, and there could be food stuck in between your teeth. And you let it sit there, and, and you know, it could rot your teeth from, you know, being, you know, stuck in between teeth like that. So that's super important too. Um, not just to prevent cavities, but for gum health as well. You don't want your gums to, you know, start getting inflamed and bleeding at the slightest thing, you know, brushing your teeth, your gums start bleeding, or you try to floss and they start bleeding, or you just eat something like an apple or something, and your gums start bleeding. So, you know, um... How often you brush, you know, it's up to you. Um, I don't think, you know, it would be ideal, in my opinion, to brush after every meal um, and maybe floss like twice a day, you know, um, floss in the morning and floss at night. But, you know, whatever you do, that's on you. What I really wanted to talk about is fixing cavities because if you don't take care of your mouth um, and you know you like to eat a lot of sweets and different things like that um, you know and you're not brushing as you should and flossing as you should you're gonna most likely come down with a cavity or cavities you do not have to go to the dentist um, to have a to address a cavity um, and I know this because I just went through it um, you know it's one thing when you read about it which I had read about it before but then um, and it's another thing when you hear somebody else say that they did it that they fixed their a cavity that they had naturally and then it's even another thing when you do it yourself so I've been through all three I read about it I talked to somebody that did it then I did it myself signs that you have a cavity um, I know the sign for me that I had a cavity was um, toothache I wasn't aware that tooth sensitivity is a sign that you have a cavity 
but it makes sense because you think about it what is a cavity a cavity is just a hole in your tooth so the deeper that hole gets the closer that hole gets to your nerve to the nerve in the tooth and um you know if that cavity if that hole you know gets all the way down to the nerve to where the nerve is exposed you're gonna be going through it that is a pain like I've never experienced in my life um, I don't remember having a toothache prior to this one the one I just had maybe about two months ago and let's see this is January 8th 2020 so um yeah, it's about two months ago when uh, I started experiencing the pain of a toothache. And it's the result of, you know, me not knowing that tooth sensitivity was a sign of you having a cavity. So my tooth had been sensitive for a long time to hot and cold things. Um, and I'm not even talking cold, like freezing cold. I'm just talking like you know something with like a little chill on it like say like i go to the to the market and buy grapes you know um i couldn't on the left side of my mouth that's where the cavity was the bottom row i couldn't even eat grapes that were at i want to say like room temperature you know like when i buy grapes they're not in the freezer you know they're not in the refrigerator they're just setting out uh, even if, you know, what they're sitting in is keeping the grapes cool, it's still, you know, we're not talking about freezing temperatures. Um, and um, I couldn't eat them. I couldn't chew them on the left side of my mouth. I had to chew them on the right side. And I didn't know that was a cavity, though, so I never addressed it. And I went on like that for a very long time. And, um, and then I bought, I bought... You know these different toothpaste that I would see um, that are supposed to address sensitivity and things like that and my tooth actually got worse while using these toothpaste um, or you know the cavity got worse and um, it I, I'm not sure exactly how much that nerve was exposed but um, one thing I, I was doing at the time this happened is I was oil pulling and oil pulling is a great addition to oral health um, amazing um, you should do it matter of fact in addition to brushing your teeth and flossing you should oil pull in what order you do it I don't think it matter but you should do it if you don't know what oil pulling is you just take coconut oil and you swish it around in your mouth for 20 minutes. And um, what that does is, um, you know, there may be more benefits than what I'm about to say, but what I know off the top of my head that it does is it kills all of the, <clears throat> all of the bacteria in your mouth. You know, brushing your teeth, you leave bacteria behind and flossing, you leave bacteria behind when you oil pull it kills it all so you should definitely definitely um, oil pull add that daily to your regimen of brushing and flossing um, matter of fact I honestly I would say if you had to pick one out of the three I would oil pull um, and you know I use organic unrefined coconut oil and something that's helped me it's getting hot in here something that's helped me oil pool is when I first started doing it you know the I would use um, coconut oil and coconut oil is pretty much like a solid you know and so I would scoop it out of the container um, Back then I was doing like one tablespoon. Now I don't measure it. But um, yeah, I would scoop it out and then put it into my mouth. And it would dissolve in my mouth. 
you know, once it came in contact with the uh, my saliva and all of that, you know, and I started swishing around, it would eventually dissolve. But the taste of that, while dissolving, was horrible. Like, it got so bad to where I'd almost start, like, wanting to throw up. And um, I eventually stopped. But when I started back, I started back because, you know, I stumbled upon this uh, accidentally, I guess. But, um, you know, it's winter now. And I probably started back maybe like a week or so ago. And, um, you know, having the heat on in the house, you know, the bathroom being like the smallest room in the house, keeping that door closed and having the heat blow in there, it would get pretty warm in there. And what I noticed is the coconut oil would melt into you know in the container and would turn into a liquid so now i can just go in there and i just grab a container and i just you know pour it like that and um you know like i would do like mouthwash and just start swishing it around i don't taste it it's awesome so now i'm back on it so but um the second time I stopped doing it, the reason I stopped when, you know, I had discovered this, you know, and I was just using it as a liquid. The reason I stopped is because um, of the cavity, like that side of my mouth was so sensitive. I couldn't oil pull. It would hurt. I remember last time I did it, man, I really tried to, you know, just, um, you know, get through it. I did it maybe like five minutes and I couldn't take no more. I had to spit it out. That's how sensitive uh, that area of my mouth was. That tooth or whatever, you know. It was, I'd have to say, it was going down to the nerve. Um, and if not, there was a very, very thin layer of tooth between, um, you know, or, you know, like covering or protecting that nerve very very thin layer to where um yeah i was feeling everything so um i had to stop doing that so i've been back at it maybe like say between a week or two now but um okay on to this cavity though so um i'm gonna give you a recipe the recipe i used and what i ended up doing through researching and different things because I had this cavity. I did not want to go to the dentist. Um, one, I don't have dental insurance. So, you know, I would be spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a cavity fixed. You go to the dentist. They got to take x-rays. They got to do an exam, you know, and then the actual work on the cavity, you know, and then they, you know, they take that drill and they do drilling and then they you know, put that filling in your mouth, all that stuff, man, I did not, and then, you know, they're, I don't know, they might be shooting, like, your gums with the Novocaine or whatever, I didn't want to do all of that, I really didn't, if it came down to it, though, I would have, I mean, I would have, I just had to do what I had to do, but, um, you know, I got to researching, and I discovered, well, you know, I just found these claims that, you know, you could repair a cavity naturally, and so, you know, I struggled for a little while with the pain because, you know, I had a couple nights where I could not sleep. I was up all night because the pain was so bad. Um, if you've ever heard that the pain from a toothache will cause you to want to kill yourself, that is true. That is true. Um, I was up the second night at like six something in the morning looking for 24-hour stores that would, you know, have some type of uh, toothache relief that I could purchase. Um, I went one route, which was uh, clove bud is what it's called. It's an essential oil um, that's supposed to be able to, you know, uh, provide temporary, temporary relief from toothaches. And it did. It was very temporary, though. Like, it wasn't long enough for me to be able to get any sleep. It was just long long enough for me to, 
you know, like exhale and experience a few moments pain free. Um, then I found this product called Toothache, which is very similar to Clove, but like I, it's so similar, you know, I was thinking it was the same thing. Um, and it may be, I don't know, like the taste of it is very, very strong, like clove bud. Um, and, you know, it's clove bud. You get that stuff on your tongue. It numbs your tongue. Like that stuff is, and it's an essential oil. Um, so uh, whatever it touches, it numbs, you know, your gums, your tongue, you know, whatever. So, and this, this product called toothache was very similar. One thing that was different like with toothache, they give you very small cotton balls and they give you a small vial of the actual um, liquid, whatever, and a pair of tweezers. And you dip the cotton ball into the vial and you soak the cotton ball and then you put that on your tooth. Okay. And that's supposed to, like I, I've seen, you know, people say, it alleviates the pain permanently and you know I've seen different um, statements on that for me it was temporary it was not permanent and I was man I was uh, probably like every 15 maybe 30 minutes it did last longer than the uh, clove bud but you know the way I was applying it was different um with the clove bud I was using a q-tip I would dip a q-tip in the vial and then you know put that on my tooth with the uh toothache I would dip the cotton ball in there and then I would put that on my tooth and bite down and I would keep it in my mouth for a very long period of time so that may be why there was a difference in um the benefit but regardless neither were permanent solutions for me and so um i was dealing with the pain like every night every day um i almost used that entire bottle of toothache because i i'd have to use it like so often and so and then i eventually uh stumbled upon uh, a recipe for a toothpaste you can make and I'm gonna share that with you. But before I do, um, let me say, I, I made this toothpaste. I went out, got all the ingredients, and I made it. And I, I would feel relief instantly um, after I brushed my teeth. So the first day I made this toothpaste, I probably brushed my teeth like six times that day. And um, that night, I had no pain at all. I was able to sleep and it was it was really amazing it was awesome like i was like sweet right so then that next day i was on it i probably brushed my teeth i'm gonna say at least four times the second day but i'm getting through the day like pain free like this stuff is really working and, you know, as, as time went on, you know, I got back into my regular routine of brushing, which is, you know, no more than twice a day. Um, every now and then I might have I might have hit hit my teeth like three times or whatever, but the pain was gone and it hasn't come back. And not only that, um, my teeth are not sensitive anymore. Now, I haven't like really tested it, but. I can I can oil pool with coconut oil, no issues, no sensitivity, no problem. 20 minutes easily. I can eat grapes for the first time in I don't even know how long. On both sides of my mouth. Left side of my mouth, I put a grape in my, and I chew it up, it's like no problem. And you know, if I would have you know, like been aware of what was going on with my teeth and why, why they were sensitive like that. I'd have, you know, addressed it sooner, but I didn't know. So I, I probably went maybe like close to a year, I would say, easily. 
dealing with that uh, tooth sensitivity and not being able to eat or drink certain things, you know, on that side of my mouth. I was able to do it for the first time in a very long time. And to this day, it's still the same. And it's like I gotta get used to using that side of my mouth because it feels unnatural. So I, you know, I make conscious efforts to chew food on the left side of my mouth because I've been so used to chewing it on the right side of my mouth only. But yeah, amazing improvements. Like the improvements I'm experiencing is what the other toothpaste promised that I never experienced. And um, I am so, so happy I came upon this. I will never buy stored toothpaste again, ever. I will always make my own. And um, so this is this is what I did. Um, this is the recipe. Um, take the ingredients are calcium powder. Um, and this is coming from the top of my head, so just bear with me, but a uh, calcium powder, baking soda, um, stevia, coconut oil, and um, the original recipe says sea salt. Um, I used uh, pink Himalayan salt because that's what I had. Um, and so, uh, Honestly, now the um, the stevia and the pink Himalayan salt, uh, I really don't remember the um, the measurements there. Those I don't believe are really important ingredients. I think those are more for taste. Um, the him the salt may add some cleaning benefits, but the main ingredients are the calcium powder, the baking soda, and the, and the coconut oil, which I use one tablespoon of each. And um, I just kept repeating that, you know, the first time I did it, you know, but whatever you do, equal parts of those three. Um, and honestly, I don't, I don't think it would, it definitely wouldn't hurt if you did equal parts of baking soda, coconut oil, calcium powder and stevia now if you do equal parts with this uh the salt your toothpaste may be salty um so uh yeah just keep that in mind but you have those ingredients your powerhouse ingredients is first the calcium powder when it comes to repairing a cavity because that's what gets down inside that cavity and you know starts remineralizing your teeth um, and you basically are filling up that hole until there's not a hole anymore um, and then baking soda is there for cleaning and the coconut oil um, you know I'm not sure of all the benefits of that but it's good you know it's good you know um, so um, that's what I used and uh, like I said I, I experienced benefits right away and like I brushed my teeth like six times that first day because uh, <laughs> I did not want to experience any of that toothache pain anymore and about four times that second day so about ten times in two days and I mean I was like oh, I was so happy I was all the way good um, well, I ain't, I'm not going to say all the way, but I could function, you know, um, at that point, I, I don't think I would have been able to eat grapes or, you know, I think there was still some sensitivity at that point. I didn't test it, didn't try it. I didn't feel comfortable at that point to try it. Um, you know, it took me a while. And even when I finally did try to chew grapes on the left side of my mouth, I was hesitant and a little, a little uh, fearful because it would hurt. But, um, you know, it was one of the things where, you know, I was like, okay, just try it. And if it hurts, then, you know, it's not gonna hurt forever, 
you know, you'll be all right, you'll get over it. And yeah, the first time I tried it, there was no pain at all. I probably could have tried it sooner. Um, I don't know. But the point is you can fix a cavity naturally. Those are the ingredients I use. I would use all organic stuff if possible. Um, the baking soda I used was not organic. I had baking soda around the house, so that's what I used. The coconut, the coconut oil was organic. The calcium powder I was not able to find anywhere. I had to order it online, but you know I couldn't wait for it to come in. So what I did was I bought calcium pills. And calcium pills got, you know, like other stuff in it that I wish wasn't in it. Like, why can't calcium pills just be calcium? You know, I had all this other stuff in it, you know, but I had to do what I had to do. Um, so I bought, I bought a bottle of pills. And what I did was I poured the whole bottle in a blender. And um, first I tried breaking them with a hammer, you know putting like a, a towel over them and you know breaking them up with a hammer that was that was not working well that was taking way too long so I, I put them in a, in a blender and cut the blender on and it blended it all up into calcium powder then I was able to use it and um, yeah I mixed everything together and uh, yeah so that's the recipe that will repair your cavity you do not have to go to the dentist to do it and you know you don't have to have your teeth drilled on and filled and all that stuff you can do it at home it works really fast and you will you know uh, experience relief really fast and you will naturally rebuild your teeth now I use it as just uh, prevention, you know, and um, you know, because you never know when a cavity might be forming. You know, in my case, I knew, be, you know, because of the pain I was feeling, you could have a cavity right now that's just starting to form. And so it's just, it's not a hole yet, it's just a little divot in your tooth. You know, you could fix it now. Like, why wait until you're wanting to kill yourself because the pain is so bad like you don't want to live no more you know you don't have to wait to get to that point use it as prevention you know and you'll never get a cavity even if a cavity starts to form boom you're already on it and um you're already on it it will never form it will never develop you know so um and then it's like, in my opinion, this toothpaste, it tastes delicious. You don't have to rinse after you use it. It's all natural ingredients. You know exactly what it is. It's only, what, like five ingredients. You can pronounce all of them. There's no chemicals. There's no fluoride. There's no rat poison. You know, there is no, if you swallow more than, you know, what's used for brushing your teeth, contact a poison control center. If your toothpaste is telling you to contact a poison control center, if you swallow too much, that's a problem. That's a problem right there. Wait a minute. Why am I contacting a poison control center? Because there's freaking poison in your toothpaste. That's why. That's the fluoride. They use that in rat poison, if you didn't know. So, um, yeah, um, there's none of that. There's none of that. Um, I brush my teeth, you know, I spit out, you know, the, um, you know, what's left after I get done brushing and then the rest, I don't rinse. I just swallow it. And it's, to me, it's delicious. Like I've literally had the thought of just going in there cause I made a bowl of it. I didn't just make a little, I made a bowl. Um, yeah, I literally just, uh, <laughs> have had the thought of going in there and just, like with a spoon and just eating the toothpaste like it's ice cream. So, uh, yeah, I love it. It's delicious. And what I love about it the most um, is one, it actually works. 
Two, um, it tastes delicious. And three, not necessarily in this order. And three, um, I know what's in it. So, look, I wouldn't wait until I got a cavity to use this. If you're using a toothpaste like a tooth, like a name brand toothpaste, and it has fluoride in it. I would stop. I mean, honestly, whatever toothpaste you're using, I would stop. Unless you made up, you know, your own toothpaste and maybe the recipe might be a little different, but it's just as effective and you know everything that's in it. Um, but yeah, it's all, to me, it's all about prevention. You know, why wait until you're having problems to address it? You know, you jump on it before you have problems and then you won't have problems and that's way better than having problems and having to go to somebody to um, help you resolve your issue so uh that's all sheesh 31 minutes i am long-winded but um that's all for this i gotta get in here and get to work so uh i'm out